Good morning everybody. We're having our very own <laughs> clinic out here in the Wanangatta and there's a lot of cheek going on. We have our clinician there and we've checked to make sure he's all covered by insurance. So Rob's going to teach us all how to do um, a, bo a, box a box hitch. So we're all going to learn how to do a box hitch. So student number one over there who is called Padawan. Okay. And there's, Grum oh, there's Grumpy John. So there's Grumpy John, and the lessons are all about Alan, um, sorry, not Alan, nails and for me. So here we go. So, okay, away you go. Go and teach us. Okay. So, we've got Jojo over here, aka Eeyore. 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 Ah! We've even got the sound effects. He, he settled up. Um, this is a pretty traditional American style sawbuck saddle. Um, all ready to go. Um, that's just a bit of a cover to stop anything rubbing. Uh, these panniers, they're empty at the moment, um, just for the just for the sake of this. Um, but yeah, I, I had these made up, and they work work quite well. Mm -hmm. um, so, the idea is these. You see I'm how trust, trust the assistant working with me. Yep, Alan is helping load. Remembering packing doesn't have to be a solitary thing. See that front on, back on. There, yeah, I've just got a twist in that one, Alan. There we go. Now we always lift them out from the, particularly when they're they're loaded. We lift them out from the side of the mule so that they they sit down. Um, I say mule, it can, it can mean horse, but mules are my thing. Um, now, we want we, we also just give it a rock and make sure it's balanced. The other thing we look at is the height. Uh, for these ones, I might actually drop this box down one hole on the front and the back, just because I'm not quite happy with where it's sitting. That's why I have these straps. They're adjustable. If you blokes have got any questions along the way, make sure you ask. And it, and it means that, that I can sit my load how I want, depending on what weight's in the boxes, uh, where the weight's sitting in the boxes, whether it's high, low, front, back, hopefully they're pretty balanced, but that's not always possible. Cool. Uh, for this load, and my top load, I've just got my swag here. So, what I'll do, is just, it's, it's folded up rather than rolled because it means it sits flat um, you, you can put it up there rolled uh, but the thing with that is it tends to move forward and backwards uh, and make sure that that's centered both from the from the front to the back as well as side to side uh, now there's any number of things that I can pack on the top of that as well. Um, I would quite often have a, a barbecue plate or a chair or um, spare tarps, all sorts of things up there. Um, and you just lay them on, so, on top so of the they'll, load? they'll lay on top. Um, if, if I was uh, carrying, say, collapsible camp chairs, I'd, I'd probably sit them on top of the box here. Yep. Because they're actually longer than my boxes. And when I do the box hitch, I would actually take a wrap on them at either end, which will hold them secure and they can't move. Cool. Excellent. So, grab my lash cinch. So, this um, basically consists of a rope. Uh, I'd have to measure it, but I think there's about 15 metres of rope in there. Mm -hmm. Now, this rope's actually a little bit heavy for what we're using it for. But in saying that, it makes it multi-purpose. I yep. can use it for a high line if I need to. In camp, I can use it to string a tarp between trees. Um, it's that multi-use that's I the most important thing. I can use it as a thing. lead rope, yeah. as a tether rope. Yeah. Um, all sorts of uses in camp. Um, the lash cinch itself um, is basically a, a canvas web um, with a, a hook on the end. Now. You don't actually need one of these. Uh, you can use just a, an ordinary 
uh, saddle cinch to do the same job. Cool. This is a purpose built built one, but there's many other ways to, to do it. So I won't, I won't throw it and try and grab it. Um, I'll use my trusty assistant and we'll just put it over the top. And now Alan will feed that through to me. What we're doing now is we're having Rob's doing all this under video and then all of us are going to have a go which we won't record because we're not going to get it right. Oh, so Rob's I'm going pretty to teach. sure we will. The idea with this is that we want it centered front to back. Now we always put the hook facing backwards. Um, the reason for that going down the trail it can't hook on brush, trees, um, you know, you get into rough country, you, you sticks and all sorts of things. Mm -hmm. So we hook the, the rope through and we pull it so that it's pretty much centered on his belly, uh, but probably a little further out the other side, because what we're going to do is just put a bit of tension on it, which will pull it through a little. Yep. Then we take it and we put a half hitch in the, in the ring just to secure it. And we just we tuck it in there. That just holds it. Hold it steady. Now, if I throw that over there, I should mention also, normally what I'd do is have a, before I put the lash cinch on, is I'd cover everything with a tarp. Um, not so bad with a load like this, um, but particularly in the winter, you don't want your stuff getting wet. And particularly if you've got your bed up top, you want it dry when you get into camp. Now, I pull all the rope over. Now, essentially what the box hitch is, um, is a series of half hitches to hold the load down. So, it doesn't matter which way you do it. Um, I'm left-handed, so this is the way I do it. Um, a lot of people do it the reverse. It doesn't matter as long as you do it the same both sides. So, what I'll do is I'll grab the rope and make a loop in front of the box and then I grab the middle bit which essentially gives me a half hitch a giant half a hitch a giant half hitch in, in the middle so what I do is I'll feed that back over the middle of my, my top load now I always start with the tension end so that's the end that's coming from the other side now where I position that on top just depends on the load a little bit uh, if I've got smaller things in there, I'll make sure I catch them. Um, this load's pretty easy to, to get. I'm, I'm, there's no way I'm going to lose the, the swag out of there. If the chair was here, is this the one that you would do so that little if, loop around? If the chair's there, I'd do, a, I'd do a loop around it. I'd, right. I'd get some good tension on that, do a loop around, and then keep following. Right, okay. Um, and then that chair won't go sideways it won't go forward or back and, I, and when i get around the other side i'll do the same on the back end of it excellent so i come down the box and as the name implies this this hitch works best with harder sided panniers or or squarer bags that have a, a little bit of uh, rigidness to them what you do the main thing is to get get the rope in behind that corner that's that's imperative for it Yep. And you can see that there. And I keep following it around. Just keeping a little bit of tension. And I make sure I get this back corner of the box. Keep following it up. And I, and I pull my slack out. Now, once again, if, I, if I'd had something along the top there, I'd take a loop on that as I go. Now, what I'll do, I'll get my trusty assistant, Padawan. He's, go, <laughs> he's, going, he's going to just... Put a little bit of pressure on the other side of the load and just hold everything steady. Yep. It's not 100% needed, but it just makes it a little bit easier on the mule. Yep. I'm going to go and grab some tension on that. And you can see it pulls that rope in, all good and tight. My top load's secure up there. Now, the thing about the box hitch is I keep following this slack down. And what it does, I then take a little pull on the bottom, and you notice it pulls that box out off my mule. Yep. So all the weight from that box, okay, that's empty at the moment, so it weighs about six kilos, six or seven kilos. So it's not a problem. But if I've got that fully loaded for a trip, 
it could weigh 30 kilos. Yeah. And I don't want it flap, just sitting, flapping on his sides, pressure on his ribs. That pulls it out. So all the weight is on the saddle. Mm. And if your saddle's fitting correctly and it's well padded, um, he's going to travel all day without a problem. Yeah. You can actually see this gap in here, whereas before when that wasn't taunt, that was actually down on that saddle blanket. So you can see how it's pulled it off. Sorry, okay. Um, so while I've got that... Oh, here's the show here. This one hasn't been pulled off, and you can see how that's against that. And on this side, it's actually off the horse, off the mule. So there, sorry, go on, Rob. No, you're right, Joe. Uh, what I'll do is I'll just hook that in there, like I did on the other side, just to just to hold the hold it there. And then I'll feed my rope over the other side. And we just do the same over here. So I'm going the same way as I did, which means that on on the other side. I, I grab the front of the box first. Over this side, I grab the back of the box first. I've got my, my tension side. I feed it up to about where I want it on the on the top load. Once again, it just depends on what the top load is. I come around, I make sure I grab the corner of that box. So it this this rope that I've got should be above above my slack. Um, if if that's not the case then something's gone wrong or you've, or you've twisted the wrong way. I, I, I follow my tension around, I grab the other corner of the box, I grab it from that side, um, I just get my, my trusty partner to go around and just hold the load again, just, just for the sake of my mule, and I pull it tight. Now, I'm actually not happy with that. I, I want that to be further up. So what I'll do is I'll take some slack back, I'll just bring it a little further up, and follow it around again, just so that I can get that a little higher on the on the swag, and it's tight. And then I just keep following my slack. You need to have a look. See how that's pulled and that off there now. Pull that off my mule. Yep. It's fabulous. And then it's simply just a matter of tying it off. I tie it off at the top, which is half half hitches. Just, just a series of half hitches. Um, half hitches tend to be one of the most used and popular knot for packing. Now, if I had a bigger mule or um, a bigger top load or something of that nature, I'll probably end up with a little bit less slack in my rope at the end. It's much easier to have a little bit more than not quite enough. You can get away with not having quite enough. There's, you can add a lead rope on the end or um, you know, when you pull it tight, you may not have enough slack to do things properly, but once you get it in, you might just have enough to deal with that slack. All I'll do is loop it up and just feed it, feed it through my, my loop there, and that'll sit there all day. That'll ride down the trail. You know, it, it might it might come over to here. It's not going to rattle on anything. Um, and there we go. And my my load. He's not going anywhere. And Eagle's going to be comfortable all day. Mm -hmm. Cool. Any questions from anybody? Not a question. When Rob showed me this, I always had trouble with the belly band. I felt like the loads were always squeezed and tight. And when Rob did this for the first time, showed me, and those bags lifted up and lifted off the mule, I went, that's, that's for me. Yeah. Yeah, just watching it. I've seen it before, but just watching it, I can see how it's going to become more used in our, our system, I think. What, what you also so note is that um, as you get down the trail, I mean, that that hasn't got... I can fit my hand between his belly and that, that surcingle. Yep. Um, as you go down the trail during the day, you may notice that that's not actually doing anything because once it's done up, all all the working of it is the half hitch around here and on the other side mm. holding it holding it in place and the, the belly band once it's done up isn't actually doing anything right which means it doesn't have to be super tight which means you, once again your mule's more comfortable what about your girth are you is your girth normal tight look i i go normal tight um once again it doesn't have to be over tight yeah. um 
we've got a, a breaching and a, a uh, breast collar that are holding, make, yeah. making sure that if I'm in going up and down hills that the saddle's not moving forward and back. I've got my load balanced. Not, not only are my panniers balanced, but my top load is balanced. Yeah. So depending on what that may be, like I say, it might have a barbecue plate or chairs or, mm. or uh, often my, my horse rugs go up there. Uh, yeah. And then simply taking it off. Um, it's, any questions, now? No. All right. Well, I think I'll need to see it again. See it again. Yeah. Get John, it right. No questions. It, it, it took me Ma about amazing four, four days back in with Rob to get this in my head mm. properly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm going to have to so. do it a few times. There, there the may barrel, be people the out there that are telling me I'm mm. don't, doing it wrong or not right, but this this works for me. Mm. Um, and it works for my mules, and it works for the system I use. Um, simply to take it off, I, I take my slack out of there and start undoing. So my, my half hitches are easy to undo, but they're not going to pull out on their own if something grabs them. Um, that's probably important. You don't want a, a quick release knot as such, because if it catches on something going down the trail, things come unravel. And your mule will go one way, and your you'll go, go the other. mule will go one way, and you will go the other. <laughs> That ever happened? <laughs> I, I have seen it done. Oh, I've, I've seen, recently oh. seen a video of, of, a, of mules separating. Oh, okay. It's quite entertaining. Oh. So I, I basically start to take slack back again. And all I do is take it out of the corner of that box, the corner of this box, and I let it hang. And that one's going to drop off. Over here I start taking slack again, just following my rope up. Follow the slack, take it out of the corner of the box, the corner of the box, let it hang. Sorry, how? Then all I need to do is just pull that slack, the whole lot comes, I undo my belly band, and off we come. Um, very easy. Uh, I can unpack my mule. Um, Might as well leave him on if we're about to do it ourselves, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, and I mean, if, even if I didn't have a top load on there, I would still put a box hitch on that just to support those boxes um, so that I'm carrying the weight on the forks of my saddle, not on the sides of my mule. There's various different hitches for various different loads. Um, there's basket hitches, there's single diamonds, double diamonds, triple diamonds. They all work in their own way. Um, this is my preference for the bulk of the loads that I carry. Mm. And it's probably one of the easier ones to learn. Um, and particularly if you're, you're doing very similar loads all the time, um, it can work quite well. Cool. Uh, can you pack, you can literally pack anything with this? Look, I wouldn't say anything, um, but you can adapt it. Yeah. Um, like I say, for, for most of my loads, I will. If, if I've got something that I really need to hold tight on the mule, and maybe a softer load, perhaps a whole lot of duffel, um, or some really soft bags, I'd probably use a diamond, yeah. um, because it holds it tighter. But you've got to be a little bit careful, because your mule can get a bit antsy, if he's done up too tight all day, yeah. um, and and that's one thing I like about this. Excellent, cool. So no questions, uh, no. Anything else? Grumpy John? No. Oh, he's yawning. What time's lunch? Oh God, there you go. What time's lunch? All right. Well, we'd all like to say thanks to Rob for doing this little presentation for us today, and. Um, now it's our turn to learn so but you're not going to see that on video because i always make lots of mistakes so thanks very much rob we really appreciate it Thank for you, our Joe. first clinic in the one and have a great day everybody thanks,